Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 55 for learning MEM and system in Django with React.js. In this video, we are going to perform the change password functionality. Okay, so this is very easy functionality. We, uh, if teacher is logged in and if he click on the change password, he just need to enter the new password and uh, it will change the password and log out. Uh, it will redirect to the logout and uh, we you can log in with a new password right and uh, <coughs> uh, yeah and we will also define a link for the uh, logout because i have noticed that it is uh, it is uh, defined the link teacher login but we need to define this link okay teacher logout okay so let's do that so first of all we will open the teacher dashboard uh, teacher sidebar because we need to perform the uh, teacher logout here right so let's refresh this and if you click on this it will be log out okay so when we click on the change password we need to perform the put uh, we need to perform the put operation right so let's open the change password teacher change password right and we need to perform the operation right so like profile setting we can just simply perform the things so we just need to uh, teacher data we will copy this right so copy from start we will copy from the t use state right so here we are teacher profile setting we will copy all this thing right so here we are okay so we need one thing only we need password and we need we don't need anything else right so teacher data set teacher data student whatever we have and use effect fetch categories we don't need the use effect handle change we need the handle change we need handle change here we will add the handle change uh, yeah no oh, here not here here right and teacher profile setting handle file change and uh, set constant form use effect will copy all of the things it will modify according to our change according to our need hmm? so teacher change password paste it here right so not login teacher login here and teacher change password right and we don't need this actually uh, don't need this right and we don't need this these things we just need password password handle change and we just need one thing only we can copy anything from here copy paste it here name is password and here is the password we can say text so that the user can see the password right so we are put teacher this 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 set form data uh, it will say teacher change password teacher change password we have to create this URL, huh? Uh, submit form. So on click, hmm? on click submit form. So when we click on this, it will submit the form. It will send the password data to this URL, and this URL returns the this thing things, right? So let's go to URL, hmm? and. Uh, student enroll course student uh, teacher detail teacher password change okay so we will create function actually we will create a new fun uh make a fetch rating status uh, fetch enroll student login here we are huh so what we will do we'll copy this okay and we will paste it here we'll post the data hmm? so we'll say 
teacher change password and this is the password okay so this is the teacher data okay so if teacher does not exist bool true we just need pull true okay so teacher else it will say password try uh, we will also send one more thing teacher id right so it is teacher object get id equal to this teacher id right so mm, we can do one thing more we we just uh, define the filter or if you are defining this try and accept then uh, you can define the get oh it's all right so if teacher data not none and if define then here we will model teacher object filter filter tick id equal to this and update password equal to this password right so let's go here so i think we are okay so teacher change password okay so what's we have defined in the url of the teacher change password teacher change password right so here we are copy this paste it here teacher change password this will be teacher id hmm? uh, teacher id and the view will be this name teacher id paste it here and it will be the view teacher change password okay and you can define the name also actually this will work okay, this url will work so teacher change password teacher id okay let's define slash here password when you call it when it call it uh, when it will call this then it will call this url and this url call this uh, function this function return the true or false based on the condition right so let's let's open this and refresh the page add new password update change password hmm? okay so request method put oh we can use post method also okay we can use the post method hmm? what it is oh sorry okay let's see bool true data has been updated okay where it is here, here we have so now let's log out here and let's try to log in with old password login email valid not password okay now it's working okay so it's working but uh, if we need to define one thing more if it's uh, logged in successfully then we need to redirect on the you know the teacher logout we will redirect to the teacher logout right so here we are and uh, change password i will again change the password same update okay now it will be logout now let's define the 
new try to login with a new password not now i have updated with the password login okay so now we have implemented the change password okay when you change the password then it will automatically log out to the uh, it will automatically log out and uh, go there if not then it will say the error okay status so are we showing any status are we showing any kind of status in the login i think we are showing let's show mm, error message mm, error message teacher change password here we can show if status we can say status set teacher data status we are not showing any kind of error okay it's no problem we will we will show that we'll show that later okay so we have successfully implemented that uh, teacher where it is teacher change password and here we have uh, implemented the teacher logout else we will say the alert password not password not change or we can say oops some error occurred uh, yeah this is fine okay okay so in the next video I think we have completed the teacher dashboard just uh, we need to implement the thing dashboard then we have completed this okay then we will uh, start the student dashboard so i think we have completed that uh, in the next video let's try to implement the teacher dashboard here we will fetch the student uh, you know counting course counting and the chapter countings all the things okay so let's start to do this and uh, complete this teacher dashboard thank you so much for watching this video